What if I told you the world's most feared spider is being evicted by her cousin? That's right. The spider that inspired a fan favorite Marvel character and the classic femme fatale archetype is at war. Meet the notorious Black Widow, a name that screams metal ban or villainous X. She's the OG of scary spiders. Venomous, iconic, and known for her problematic mating behavior. But our femme fatale is fighting a silent war against her cousin, the Brown Widow. Despite being the more venomous spider, the Black Widow looks like she's losing the fight, which raises the question, why is the Black Widow losing turf to her awkward cousin? And is this the end for the Black Widow or the start of a creepy comeback? Let's find out. I'm gonna need you to like this video. I'm coming to your house to fight you. Please like this video. I don't know how to fight. Also, please subscribe. It really helps my channel. Okay, thank you. While the Black Widow is not the most potent spider in the world, she certainly is the most notorious. With her iconic pitch black body and bright red hourglass, she's the second most venomous spider in the world, with a venom 15 times more potent than a rattlesnake. But plot twist, our girl's not exactly the serial killer people think she is. In reality, she's shy, prefers solitude, and bites humans only when her eight-legged patience runs out. But then there's the Brown Widow. Same creepy family, but with a fraction of the reputation and twice the hustle. Her squeaky clean reputation is quickly changing though, because this spider has gone from tame underdog to a global conqueror. Originally an African queen, the Brown Widow, also known as the Lactrodectus, has become an international jet setter spreading from Africa to parts of Australia, Japan, Cyprus and the Americas. But she's become a bit of a troublemaker in the Americas. That's because brown widows aren't just passive squatters, they're active homewreckers. The non-sexy kind. And that's because the brown widow doesn't just move in, she moves black widows out. In Florida, California and parts of the south, she's taken over web spots faster than a hipster opening a coffee shop. Studies show they invade black widow territory, take over their web and eat them whole. Rude, right? Originally from Africa, or possibly South America, brown widows are global hitchhikers. They've hitched rides on cargo ships and luggage, quietly invading warmer climates around the world. Unlike their black widow cousins who like a little privacy, brown widows are suburban socialites. They nest closer to human activity in patio furniture, mailboxes, and even under your car side mirror. And here's where it gets interesting. Brown widows are less venomous to humans, which ironically makes them more dangerous in the long run. That's because people leave them alone, which means they spread faster, breed more, and boom, a spider kurita. So why is the brown widow winning? Because she's sneaky, prolific, and has a mere venom profile that gives her stealth mode in suburbia. But this war isn't just about venom. It's also about silk. Black Widow Silk isn't just spider string, it's bioengineered death rope. Pound for pound, it's stronger than steel. Scientists literally dream of replicating it for body armor, medical sutures, and futuristic fabrics. I mean, imagine wearing a bulletproof hoodie made from spider spit. That's where this tech is possibly headed. So yeah, Black Widows aren't just venom queens. They're master architects spinning webs so strong they can trap creatures 30 times their size. One was even caught snacking on a small snake. Yet, despite her genius, the Black Widow is losing ground. All that strength, all that chemistry, and she's being slowly edged out by her bland but bold cousin. According to the literature, the vibes are in fact not immaculate. At least not for the Black Widow. You'd think the more venomous spider with a stronger web would win, but nature doesn't always reward firepower. Sometimes it's about being first, fast, and forgotten by pest control. But is this game over? Or just half time in the Widow Bowl? Recent data shows Black Widows retreating, not dying out, but pulling back into wild spaces. They're going off grid, kind of like a musician before they release their comeback album. Meanwhile, scientists are racing to decode her venom, synthesize her silk, and plot twist, 
even weaponize her genes for materials engineering. She may be losing the backyard battle, but she's winning the biotech war. Is extinction on the cards for the Black Widow? Maybe. But it looks like it's evolution in progress. The Black Widow isn't fading, but she is adapting. And who knows, maybe she'll make a surprise comeback like every good underdog does. So yeah, the spider we feared for decades is actually the one being bullied. And her web? It's not just creepy. It's a masterpiece of natural engineering. The war's not over, but one thing's clear. In the world of spiders, survival isn't about who bites harder. It's about who adapts faster and spins the stronger story. If you thought this was wild, wait until you see my Komodo dragon video. Spoiler alert, there's drool, and it's deadly. Click here to watch that video next. If you learned something new, hit that like button so the algorithm knows I didn't whisper sweet nothings about spiders for no reason. Subscribe for more animal drama and drop a comment below. Are you team black widow or team brown widow? And as always, stay squishy, stay weird, and don't forget to shake out your shoes. Bye my fellow loons!